We are in the middle of the New Zealand Festival of Architecture. Curator Jeremy Hansen is here to tell us all about it and why we should all head along. Morning, Jeremy. Hi. This sounds pretty interesting. So first up, what is the Festival of Architecture? The Festival of Architecture is a celebration of architecture and the important thing is it's not just for architects, it's for members of the public. So there are buildings that are open this week, there are talks, there are free tours all over the country. Most of the events are free. Um, all the information's on the nzia.co.nz web .co.nz website. There's a whole lot for people to engage with and so people can talk about good design and how it makes all of our lives better. I like the way you just slipped that website in straight in the first opening question <laughs> Sorry, too. that was hard promo, that, wasn't that it? That was great. Why is it such an important festival in New Zealand? Well, I think everybody in New Zealand, A, is obsessed with home design, but also mm. our cities and our towns are often growing really quickly as well. And it's really important for all of us to be engaged in a conversation about how those cities and towns are going to turn mm. out to look. And so it's everything really from if you're doing a small bathroom renovation to you know, thinking about the way your city's going to appear. Um, I think we all know what a good space feels like and what a good city feels like. And the Festival of Architecture invites people into those conversations with architects so they can you know, go along to projects in a really low pressure way understand how those decisions are made and hopefully you know, get chatting Appreciate and participate in mm. some of them. What mm. sort of events do you have running, Jeremy? One of my favourites is um, a day called Open Source, which is on Saturday. And it's architecture and landscape design studios all over the country just opening up to the public for the day from 11 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon. So people can just drop in, see the work they're doing, have a chat about the projects that might be going on. And um, often I think it's difficult for people to to approach an architect for advice because it feels a bit formal and a bit stiff and this is a really informal it way for them really to... feels just really expensive. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. So they can go in and seek advice and not have this kind of audition process. But also there's really good walking tours um, around Dunedin's, Dunedin's waterfront, for example, Christchurch's Victoria Square, Auckland's waterfront, led by urban designers who can talk people through the design of those spaces and why they've turned out to be successful. And why they work the way they do. That's actually probably quite a fascinating thing to find out, why they work and why they feel so good. So what are your top three then things from the festival that would be, you can't miss these things? In New Plymouth, I'm really looking forward to Andrew Patterson, the architect of the Len Lye Centre, talking about that building and the building for oh, the wow. first time. Um, in Auckland, there's a woman called Jade Kaki who's doing a talk about indigenous design and how Māori design is starting to affect all of our cities in a really positive way. And what would my third pick be? That's a really tough one. I'd have to go on one of the waterfront walking tours because I think those spaces are really important public spaces mm -hmm. and it's great for us all to know how those tick and what we can do to make them even better for all of us. Mm. Who should go along to this, these events? Anyone could go along. There's events for children, there's events for people from all walks of life. Wellington, for example, there's a whole lot of architects are opening their homes for the day. You need to register for these events, but there are spaces there so you can get to see all these great spaces inside and, experiencing, and experience them. Everything's pretty low pressure, so you can just kind of register, turn up, um, try these things out. There's no big time commitment. Um, it's just a really nice way to kind of open up homes and towns and cities for people to enjoy them. So is there a chance then, say you've always been looking at a particular place or a house or a building in your town that it might actually be, that you've never been able to go into because it's private, that it might be open for the day for you to have a look around? In Wellington in particular, and this is something we hope to develop more in future years where we get more and more buildings open, but yes, every city has buildings that are open and public spaces that are open for tours that are available, so I really encourage people to go along to those. Yeah. So do you have any tips for people that are going to go along? Go to the For website. Me, yeah, go to the website nzia.co.nz as I plugged shamelessly before. Um, look at the events in your region. See what might suit you and suit your timetable. Just register and turn up, and it's really relaxed and it's really fun, and it's a really great way to gain insight into you know how good design can make all our lives better. Well, it can because you think about you know you you, you know if a town is poorly designed, don't you? You can feel it, just the way it runs and the way everything goes around, the whole infrastructure around as well. It's not just the buildings, is it? Yeah, we all know, and I think people think of architecture as this kind of um, quite highbrow, difficult to access thing, but actually we're all moving through and living in architecture all day, every day, so we all understand it. And I think it's just about people realising that they understand it and feeling like they can say their piece about whether or not they feel good in a space mm. as part of the festival's aims. So what's your role as curator? Well, it's, curator sounds a bit grand. It's actually it been... very fancy. It's actually mostly been nagging people all over the country to organise events because um, the events all over the place have been organised by locals in those places. And my job's been to encourage them and to corral them and to nail them down to spending their spare time on doing these things. And there are also a few key events in different parts of the country that 
I've set up personally or worked with people to set up. There's a woman from San Francisco who is an urbanist called Alison Arif who writes for the New York Times who's coming to New Zealand to speak in the main centres. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of the things we've been working on as a kind of big event um, for the whole festival. But I think the, the main thing is that it's a grassroots festival. It's been organised by locals in parts, all parts of New Zealand, and that's what makes it really strong. That is a very cool thing. Thank you so much for coming along today, Chief Nagger. <laughs> Chief Nagger. And thank you too, Hamish. Well, I didn't do much, but I helped out. You always, it's always <laughs> a pleasure to have you here. Now, the Festival of Architecture runs nationwide until this Sunday. For all of the information you need, head to nzia.co.nz.